Oh shoot! H&M, you gotta fix your hangers, mate. It's December 26th. It is Boxing Day. So I am here at like 8.30 in the morning. Just wanna see or an inexperience what Boxing Day is about. Welcome back to another haul video. So today I am gonna show you guys what I got um, on Boxing Day. So basically the day after Christmas, which is December 26th, um, is Boxing Day here in Australia. All of the stores would have like massive sales. Everyone uses all their gift cards. Everyone like takes the opportunity of the sales. For like the almost three years I've been here, I've never been to one. So I finally like I went by myself. So this is all I bought for Boxing Day. It's actually not much compared to the last video you saw. It's actually not much. I just wanted to like experience what Boxing Day is. Want to see what it was like. I made sure now I was there really early. Got there at around 8.30. So I started like my shopping with a breeze. So I went to Valley Girl and then to H&M. I got a lot from Valley Girl actually. I love Valley Girl. It's one of my favorite stores. Did I actually get this from Valley Girl? Oh no, this is actually H&M. Um, it's actually the first time I think to see something on 70% off in their store. So last year when I still like uh, go into the office, I would always end up like having an hour to kill while waiting for my next bus on the way home. I would go to Valley Girl, I would go to H&M. And I would always observe like what's on sale, how quickly they would go on sale. For the longest time, I've never seen anything on 70%. Alright, okay. So the stuff I bought. And this is the only store I actually bought something on full price. Which is still under $20. Well, a cent under $20. I got this maxi dress. It's an off-shoulder maxi dress. So it's that one. There were two colors. I ended up getting this one. This looks really nice. Um, it looks really comfy as well for the summer. It looks really breezy, so I'm flowy. This is the only full price na ko, which was $19.95. No, actually, this is actually full price too, but it's still under $10. It's just like a bralette. Now I can say the others are actually on sale. Uh, we have this singlet. I like the color. It's like rose gold or like a dusty pink color. I think this was around... I don't know which one it is. Under $10, I think it's 7 or 6 Yabang bahay lang naman siya for me. And pwede pang alis din. We have another singlet here. Also like a dusty pink one or rose gold one. And this was really comfy, really breezy as well. And then I also got two of these ones. Now yeah, this is like all 70% off. Parang sleeveless na medyo crop top. Tapos you can actually tie it in the end. This would, this would actually be nice this summer as well. And then I could actually wear this on future travels. Future travels, I have it in another color, um, the blue one as well. So, the tall lang yung mga nakasale dito mga damit. Nothing's wrong with it. Usually, yung tipong my my makeup stain lang o may may nakausli lang yun mga ila isi na agad nila yun. So, like, I'm like, okay, I'll just wash it off or something. Pretty easy. And then lastly for Valley Girl, I got this like active wear pants again. Nakatago ito sa likod ng, ng mga hangers, ng wrap. Nakatago siya, it was well hidden. It's just like a, a long leggings, jogging pants, and yeah, active wear. Tapos may pop, and may pa-pocket siya. So, so this will be really cool for like when we go to the gym. But next, I went to H&M. Didn't really get much again in Charlestown H&M. But I've been having my eye on this for the past trips or like, yeah, shopping that I have and I finally got it it's just like a like an overnight bag like a, it could be like a gym bag as well it's really nice it's really cute it's $15 it was on sale I don't know like how much it was like originally $45 shot before na for 15 so like really cheap it also comes with a strap so, I gamit ko on the day to put all of the stuff I bought it was really easy Next, I have these um, sandals ulit. I wish they were in black though, but wala. Um, I saw these last year, sobrang last season pa to, I swear. And I got them for like 10 bucks. Oh, shoot. And I got the wrong size, by the way. So, eh, far out. So this might actually go to my mom. H&M, you gotta fix your hangers, mate. Naka hanger siya for like size 7. I didn't really expect, hindi pala talaga siya size 7. This is 41. 
So this is actually just gonna go to my mom. That this is too big for me. So yes, hi mom. See this on like I don't know when. I don't know kung kailan ko makapadala to. Sayang. I'm annoyed. But yeah, this will just go to my mom. I swear, I'm gonna realize. So yeah, my bagong sandals ng mommy ko. Oh, and I got some swimwear again. Kala mo naman nagsusot ng ganda talaga sa tatong buhay. Low rise. So I just got like a black bikini bottom. And also another like black bra top. Woohoo! Uh, first try a day maybe as well if we do put up a pool in the back. So that was it for like my smooth sailing shopping on the unboxing day. And then I went out of H&M and there were so many people. I finished that around 9.30. And when I got out of H&M, whoa, ang daming tao. I was going to like pot on and see if I can get stuff. And then I saw something na gusto kong bilhin. There was this cardboard boombox siya. It was for $2. And I was like, oh, I want to get this. So I grabbed that. I think that was the only thing I was going to buy there. Honestly, the stuff on sale, the clothes, I've seen them before. They were there the other day. I was going to go to Peina and then I was like, what the hell is this line? <laughs> the line was very long for 9.30 a.m. And I'm like, oh, fuck this shit. I'm not going to buy this anymore. <laughs> It's a huge line in Cotton I'm going to buy this one. Two dollar boom blaster cardboard thing. Have a fila. No thanks. So I didn't get it. I went out. I also went to Mecca Maxima as well to stock up on stuff. So I just got two items from Mecca Maxima. So first I got the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Setting Spray in a uh, cherry scented dosha. So I haven't tried this yet. I have the other one. The all nighter lang na ano parang unscented ata siya. But I, yeah, I only get the small ones kasi hindi naman ako everyday ngayon nag makeup. So I don't really want them to go to waste. They only have like, how many, how long did it this last? Oh, see, this only has six months once you open it up, which is crazy. Far out. And I also like, saw this one. This is the, the MAC Prep and Prime Spray. Um, I've never seen like a small one before. I had a big one before, years ago. But yes. So this has, yeah, see this has two years naman with it. Oh, and I also got, which I don't really have it here. Um, I also got something from JB Hi-Fi, the Apple adapter thing where you can connect like an aux cable or your, or your old um, earphones, yun lang. But the line was very long as well. I ended my shopping there. I just got like food and then Gatorade for Troy. That's it. I left it around like 10.30. And I thought to myself, that is my first and last boxing day. Why? For clothes, it's not really worth it for me. All the stuff that was on sale on that day were on sale already for the past few days. Even I think even weeks before, they were already on sale. So I'd rather maybe like go in before or after boxing day instead of going in there with boxing day itself. So basically, dinadagdagan ng nila yung mga stuff na isasell nila. Pero it's like similar items to the other ones. Like it, they're all like all old stocks na, na they, put, they put on sale before. So that's, for me, that's basically it. That's how I kind of observe the stuff they sell in retail, ha? in clothing retail. Because that's, that's mostly the place I go to shopping. Yeah, if you do have a gift card, you can actually use it on that day. If you don't want to be able to get a lot of people who don't have a don't. I think the store that is worth it to go for Boxing Day, especially if you have gift cards as well, is JB Hi-Fi. Like, well, yeah, JB Hi-Fi for me. Because I'm just looking for a little bit. Yeah, tech stuff. They actually slashed the prices or lower than the original price. That's my opinion. I fell in line for five minutes in JB Hi-Fi to buy a something for $15. I got annoyed. I guess that's what it does to you. For clothes, talaga, just go win every day. They will always have sales rack. If there's something you want, it's not on sale at the moment. Wait a few weeks, it'll be there. I would know, like, I would just wait for stuff to be on sale. Like, oh, this is what I, was the one thing that I wanted before. Now it's on sale. Yay. So yeah, just wait for it to go on sale. Also, another thing na napansin ko, like in JB Hi-Fi while I was falling in line, I noticed like this tarp sign up there saying na ano, order online and just pick it up. Do that. Like wake up early, order it online, wait a couple of hours and pick it up. Like maybe late Avo. 
Lahat siguro takot na maubusan. Lahat sila pupunta ng umaga. Pagating ng hapon, ubus na. At least, what the things that you want are already reserved. Or you could also like just get everything online. They would also do um, Boxing Day sales online. That's just my opinion. I'm just not gonna do it again. I don't wanna spend Christmas like back home next year, but who knows what will happen. I wasn't really able to like vlog throughout the day. A couple of clips I was able to enter. It's a crazy day. So that's it for this video about Boxing Day. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and we'll see you on, we'll see you. Ooh, ooh. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.